Blessings everybody, it's Tefnut here. I hope you're all doing really well. I know it's been a while and we are in a Mercury retrograde currently in Cancer. So it's been a really interesting emotional time uh, for myself um, in many good ways and also many uh, letting go ways. So I've taken a bit of time off as of family reasons and turning 30 and just a lot of change going on. We are in the year of the horse, so there's a lot of change happening for everybody. And I'm hearing some people are saying there's just needs to slow down. Well, um, all I can say with that is uh, get in your body, relax, let go of the details. Don't think overthink too much with this retrograde as it does bring up a lot of thought. Um, but yes, we are in a new moon in Cancer today. Yay. We need this nurturing, mothering time right now as we had so much going on in the Gemini energy and this and that, transportation, um, but also feeling much the emotions with Mercury. So we're in this really interesting time and it's a great time to set intentions for um, in the month to come, especially in July. Um, the last video reading I did for all of you was actually in a new moon in Gemini, so this is absolutely appropriate and perfect. And I just got back from the desert, so I'm I'm feeling this beautiful nurturing energy from what I just came from, and also allowing myself to give myself time that I need. So um, this is why this reading is here now. Uh, but apologies for being a bit um, somewhat of a hermit <laughs> in terms of the internet. So um, anyways, I wanted to do a reading for you guys. I did it earlier and I used this beautiful deck that I got um, probably about a month ago or so, which is the Druid um, Tarot, the Druid Craft Tarot. And I pulled three cards. And uh, yeah, I just want to say to all of you, just take it really easy. The most important details right now are just love, compassion, nurturing, mothering, relationships, just taking it slow and being one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, that was such a beautiful gift I got. Um, five days being in the desert, really being one-to-one -one and just being able to cleanse and heal from all that's going on. Um, but beautiful things are coming together and I hope beautiful things are coming together for all of you as I know they are. Just trust and believe and listen to your higher self. Listen to your dreams. Very psychic time. It's really amazing. Um, I'm going to share a little bit of something personal. My grandfather is passing away currently, and there's been a lot of interesting energies coming together through this, but I'm also helping his spirit go into the other world. So it's a very big job to have that. And last night I did some Reiki on him, and um, my body's really feeling that not being attached. My spirit's really feeling that I'm not attached to my body right now because I'm helping him through this process. Um, there's a huge Egyptian ritual that is part of this that I'm really feeling the energy to it. So uh, as a Gemini, I'm feeling a lot of water energy. Um, anyways, so I wanted to share that with you guys. There's just this really interesting process going on of shedding, cleansing, moving forward. And I know it's a great mirror for other people too, so I'm sure there are people going through this very similar process as a process of being able to be there for that process and that ceremony, but then also being able to, to, um, to disengage, to focus on what you want to focus to manifest. So this energy of cancer is really much about the home, the family, the family within yourself, how you nurture yourself, your loving relationships, what kind of relationships do you want, how are you fulfilled emotionally, how can you disengage your brain and your heart so that you can engage in your true feelings and feeling it rather than thinking and overthinking it. So very much an interesting time. Um, just allowing yourself to get what you need and really listen to what is right for you and who are the right connections for you at this present time. Very interesting. So um, I did a three card reading back to that, um, multitasking here, and some beautiful energies came through that I felt I wanted to share with you on video. And the first card I got was the lovers which is beautiful. It's a nurturing nature environment. 
Um, they are embraced in each other. It looks like they just made a beautiful, loving connection, physical and emotional, and just feeling of coming home back to nature and having the green man below, just feeling that growth and expansion, but also feeling like welcoming you back home, embracing that loving touch and the loving essence of the mother and um, feeling this loving vibration, this loving connection, twin flame connection, soulmate connection, feeling that essence of being one with nature, being one with that beautiful, special someone, whatever relationship it may be. The lovers is a beautiful card, and then this is my favorite lovers card, actually, in all the tarot decks I've used. So very special card to get. Just grounding in nature. Take some time with nature to really fully embrace um, your nurturing side. Spend time in nature with a beloved, whatever form of beloved that may be, um, especially yourself. Nurture yourself. Be around water. Cleanse yourself. Give yourself loving food and nurturing um, nu nutritional values that you that you value. And there's also the snake right here. So here's like the kundalini. If you can see, that's a little dark. The kundalini is awaking with you. And there's also an egg uh, around. The snake is around this egg. So there's like a birth happening. And as we know, cancer is the mother. It's the most fertile sign of the zodiac. So a beautiful time to co-create something amazing with your beloved, your 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 flame, your beauty, your love that you share within a nurturing family environment. And we have the green man here and he's spouting out some water there. So really coming into this essence of water, of love, of unity, of creation, of abundance, fertility, really coming forward and moving forward. We're feeling like we're needing some rest as the horse is really, really moving forward. And the chariot is the card that represents cancer. And I really feel we're in this chariot unicorn year, really moving forward fast. But right now we're having to take a, some slow time, especially with the retrograde. So embrace yourself, embrace others, grow in nature, ground yourself in this beautiful energy and know that you are nurtured and loved always. Embrace the divine, embrace the love that you have from your guides and your guardians. And I saw an amazing angel last night as I was leaving my grandfather's um, uh, care home in the hallway. So there is a beautiful, amazing guide energy going on for a lot of people right now. And if, you're pa if someone's passing right now, this is an amazing nurturing time to pass, as much as I know it may, may be hard. But I just wanted to validate for anyone going through this right now, as I'm partially involved involved in this, I want to just let you know that our guides are really nurturing us. Just trust and do what's right for you. Really listen to your body and your spirit and cleanse and cleanse and cleanse and do a ceremony for yourself and put those seeds in the ground that you want to manifest. So it's very important. And the second card we got is the Fool, which is really interesting. So we're wandering on this path. We have a guide with us, which is the dog. We have this beautiful, um, I forgot what they call it. It's the, the thistle, I want to call it. It's the, oh, my words, sorry. Gemini, Mercury retrograde. Ooh, um, It's the tree that you hang above on the corner and then you have to kiss someone. So it's... I think it's some kind of thith thistle. Someone knows, let me know below. My brain is not working on this image right now, but I may put it down below later. Anyway, so we're feeling this, this connection. I know we're wandering, but we're wandering with that person. And to be come and one in love, we have to really let go of our, um, our connection, our worldly connections to really fully connect to that nurturing, loving energy because sometimes we protect ourselves so much. So the fool is such a great representation of letting go of all the details, of all the things that have kept us from not feeling nurtured. Now we are feeling nurtured, but we are walking on the path in nature. Whatever that may be for you right now, any form of greenery, walking on earth and on grass without shoes, 
having a fellow companion with you, but really allowing yourselves to be nurtured in loving relationships and possibly going to those places where your connections may be met even further and deeply, which will nurture you and fulfill you in all your desires. So that's what I'm really feeling. It's not really about walking alone because the fool always has a companion. It's about finding that place where you can connect more deeply, possibly a move, but make sure you know all the details before you jump and leap, as I know the fool loves to leap. So very interesting card. And the last card we got for the beautiful new moon and cancer reading is the Ace of Cups. This is all about fulfillment. And as you can see, above is a new moon. Fulfillment, love, union, and emotional fulfillment, overflowing with joy and love and blessings and harmony and it's that cancer vibration of feeling so nurtured and loved that everything is provided for you and everything is on its way in the perfect and most divine time there is for you as a being on this earth currently in this universe at this present time. So I hope that um, gave you some joy, fulfillment, and nurturing energy as I want to provide that mothering, loving energy in the reading today. And may this energy take you to so many places that will nurture and heal you and provide you the depths of your soul that you are truly looking for within this year and within all times to come. So many blessings your way. If you'd like to get in touch for a reading, I'll put my email below. I have a special going on. It's a three card reading for $20, either email or video. It's up to you. Get in touch if you'd like to. Um, I'm currently building my website, but it's just uh, not the present time to be born yet as we are in a retrograde. So I hope you understand that. But really focus on emotional fulfillment, cleansing, healing, just filling up your cup with those things you want to truly fulfill your desires as it's all welcome this year and all here and your blessings are here. Just open yourself to the divine, open yourself to love and open yourself to one-on-one -on -one connections, especially with the lovers. They are a perfect mirror for this time. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all doing really, really, really well. Take care of yourselves. Let go of so many details as there's so much going on right now and the clearer picture will come within about July 1st if you are seeking more clarity within your life. But uh, much love your way and I will speak to you very soon. Namaste. And like my page on Facebook, I put up updates on there too. I'll put that below. Namaste and mothering, nurturing, love your way. Mwah. I love you guys.